to get your free 30-day supply of natural relief for women plus a free 30-day supply of essential vitamins and sleep easy supplements. That's almost a $100 value free. Call 1-800-525-0300. <laughs> Dr. Cass Ingram joins us today, so this is really going to be a fun day. Welcome and thanks for coming all the way sure. in. Appreciate you very yep. much. In Vietnam in 1970, a little boy drowned. He had been underwater for at least a minute, maybe two minutes. And we pulled him out and we got him breathing again. And I'll never forget, Dr. Ingram, the, <gasps> you know, the look on his face and the <gasps> just gasping for air. Wow. So many Americans do that every day. Those with asthma, respiratory problems, COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and many, many other diseases that I asked Dr. Ingram if he would come in and teach us a little bit about from the chest up, from the bottom of the lungs up, eyes, ears, nose, throat, nasal pharyngeal cavity, lungs, uh, et cetera. So thank you so right. much for coming in and talking with us. Many more people, you're right, choke to death, die of respiratory in this country from respiratory problems than from yeah. drowning. There's no comparison. There are thousands every year that die or have near-death experiences because they can't breathe, and they're upright. They're not in water. Right. And this is because they're, they're infected with germs that damage the entire respiratory tract from the frontal sinuses all the way down to the bottom of the, of the lung mm. cavities. And we're talking, we're talking about the same story, fungal infection. Think about even TB, which is the number one infectious killer in the world. Tuberculosis. Mycobacterium. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, in the 1940s, for the uh, uh, Red Cross book on tuberculosis said that it's a type of fungus. In 1940, sarcoidosis was known to be a fungal infection. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So you are dealing from the base of the lungs to the head, with published science showing that you're sick with fungus. So let's say somebody has a cough. I think fungus. What if, and I, don't, I don't mean to be simplistic. Somebody has pneumonia and it keeps coming back. They go back to the hospital, they, it's walking pneumonia. I think fungus first. I think fu first. Yep. Someone has bronchitis. I think fungus. Mm -hmm. Someone has sinusitis. Think fungus, fungal infection. Thank you so much because Carol Kaufman, no relation, uh, wrote a paper one time on non-resolving pneumonia. Does it have a fungal etiology? I think all fungus should be looked at first as a fungus. I mean, all pneumonia yep. should be looked at first as a fungus and second as bacterial. But that's just the opposite of what's done. Now, we have a really good show laid out for you today. When we get back, I'm going to introduce you to a hospital in Denver that is an asthma and allergy hospital. Wait till you see this. Hi, I'm Guy Evans. If you watch Know the Cause every day, you probably know that my dad, Dr. Gary Evans, discovered the picolinated form of chromium. But did you know how chromium itself was discovered? A German scientist was working with rats and discovered that if he fed rats yeast, they'd get diabetes. He went on to find that if he fed them a diet fortified with the mineral chromium, their diabetes went away. This is incredible news for folks with type 2 diabetes. You may be surprised to know that 90% of the population is deficient in this inexpensive mineral. Is it any wonder with the American diet so loaded with sugar and the fact that we're so deficient in chromium that diabetes is so widespread? Type 2 diabetes occurs either when the pancreas doesn't produce enough insulin or the cells in the body ignore the insulin. Insulin is necessary so the body can use sugar and burn it for energy. If the sugar doesn't get into the cells, it just circulates in the blood. Not only do your cells become starved for energy, but over time, the high blood sugar may damage your eyes, kidney, nerves, and heart. When doctors treat type 2 diabetes, the standard of care is often just to give them more insulin. But is this really taking care of the problem itself? Why wouldn't you look to nutrition first? Chromium does something extremely well. It helps the body utilize insulin. Of course, this is important in diabetes, but it also helps us have more energy and can even assist in weight loss. Chromium is naturally found in things like liver and brewer's yeast, but you'd have to eat an awful lot of liver to get the amount you need, and since you watch Know the Cause, 
eating yeast probably doesn't sound like such a great idea. The easiest way to get chromium we need is through supplements. But watch out. Regular elemental chromium is really tough for the body to absorb. And vitamin companies often want to put cheap and expensive forms of chromium in their pills, hoping you won't know the difference. That's where my dad comes in. He discovered the most effective, most bioactive form of chromium in the world, chromium picolinate. Study after study has been done showing it to be the very best form of chromium, especially for diabetics. Want to know more about supplementing with chromium picolinate? Just call my office or visit bioactivenutrients.com. I'm Guy Evans, and now you know. For a written transcript of today's Did You Know, or to find out more about Guy Evans' Bioactive Nutrients, visit www.bioactivenutrients.com or call 1-800-879-6504. Dr. Cass Ingram is a doctor, is a physician, a uh, family practice, yes. I think is his area of expertise, and he and I have so much fun. He told me one time that seeing a patient every half hour, which he used to do in Illinois where he practiced, is one thing. Yep, you can help maybe 16 people a day, but talking on television, uh, on this show especially, you can impact millions and millions of people. So thank yeah, you for sure, having absolutely. that attitude. Absolutely. Was it boring, the practice of medicine? Were no, you I, I still, I'm an osteopath in addition. I love it. I still treat my family. But, you know, right now I'm reaching millions and I'm publishing many books. Yep. I'm also helping, you know, in these products, educating about different things you can take that help. Now, instead of one person a day, maybe I reach 10,000. Exactly, See? exactly. So. Numbers are much different. I went to the National Jewish Medical and Research Center. You know that out in Denver. Very respected uh, research facility, a big research college out there. And they got very good doctors out there. This is a whole city. It's like a university yeah. with hospitals and everything out there. And probably hundreds if not thousands of medical personnel out there and their sole function really is in respiratory diseases so what we're doing today the show is dedicated to from the bottom of the lungs up that's what these doctors do and when you go to their website they rotate with a different doctor saying I'm so privileged to work at this hospital and so forth and then it says learn about and you click on yeah allergy asthma eczema autoimmune disease copd emphysema interstitial lung disease sleep disorders oh they've graduated to sleep disorders tuberculosis which you and i could do a whole show sure. on and more and yeah. then they have a little click and more yeah. you know i mean it's almost well, like you're supposed to take a, a suitcase full of money and pay each department <laughs> Between, between the CAT scans and the radiography and the it's probably, pulmonology you and, and i both know. oh goodness these are good people who didn't have the yeah. touch that you got to go a different but direction the thing with is, your life. Uh, each emphysema, COPD, asthma, they talked about earaches, mm -hmm. of course, mm -hmm. tubes, mm -hmm. uh, laryngitis, pharyngitis, uh, tonsillitis, bronchitis, yep. there are allusions the there, <laughs> sinuses. These are all uh, infected by fungi. Mm -hmm. And you'll never have that addressed at that center. That's correct. However, Mayo's up north has already said there's no doubt about it. They've proven categorically in 210 people that 98% of them had fungal infections. So when we talk about this to this, mm -hmm. then this was done in 1998, the original study by Mayo, with the 210 people with 98% fungal, up to 40 different fungi found. Uh, now then, Lim, at the same center, in 2005, comes forward and says, look, you got a cough, so we're, we're starting here and here. Mm -hmm. That cough in over 30 percent, and that's CAT scans. You know, CAT scans are horrible. Yeah. We, I mean, they, they, they're gross. They do what they do, but they don't tell you everything. Mm -hmm. Clinically, you have to use your head. Yep. But this is big. The CAT scan showed 33 or so percent have an infection here, and the cough is the symptom. They have no wow. symptom in the sinus. Wow. Yeah. That's huge. They're, they're talking about a cough now being a third of the times linked to fungus. And that's with a CAT scan or PET scan. That's or just what the... So they so, can't so diagnose. We should double that and say that if you have a cough, that means there's a, a fungal pocket in the sinuses mm -hmm. or perhaps in the upper chest, seeding the lungs. Okay? Wow. And that would be a dry cough or a, a productive cough that, that was more like yellow or particularly clear. And even tuberculosis, which causes a cough, mycotuberculum mycotuberculosis. So if you have a cough, it should be treated with antifungal therapy. You say first of all. mycotuberculum, and the audience probably doesn't get that. When you say myco, 
I say myco. You say my like <laughs> mycotic, fungus. like fungus. Myco, M-Y-C-O, yeah. denotes fungus. Yeah. So mycology is the ology, the study of the study fungus. of fungus. Whew. So what you're dealing with is really is if you have a after the flu season problem from here up, mm -hmm. it's 98% of the time fungal. Earaches. They have now proven that chronic otitis media is fungal, if nothing else from the overuse of antibiotics. Mm -hmm. You're constantly taking the antibiotics, you develop a serous otitis media, you, in other words, serous, uh, uh, non-infected fluid, but then you find fungus living in the inner ear canal. You find it living in the inner uh, ear canal. You, you find it, uh, that, uh, that if you have itching in the ears, it's fungal. You find that if you have itching in the roof of the mouth, it's usually fungal. You find that if you have a... Uh, well, thrush. Well, of course, <laughs> coated tongue, of sure. course. And leukoplakia is fungal. Mm -hmm. And also you have uh, the issue of Bell's palsy, which can be herpetic and fungal at the same time. So we're talking head and, head and face. Frontal sinusitis, maxillary, uh, sinus pain above the eye, stabbing pain into the sinuses, sinus pressure, sinus headaches. You have to consider uh, the role of infection by fungal organisms. Now let's go down the throat, the nasal pharyngeal cavity. Postnasal <clears throat> drip is fungal. Think about that. Yeah, sure. Uh, rhinitis, according to Mayo's work, with the clear drainage, the sneezing, the welting of the eyes, and the in intractable condition is fungal, according to Mayo. Uh, if the pollen is irritating you, it's because the fungal infection is in the sinuses. This is invaluable. Doctors, nurses, you are being told what you should be doing in your centers. You should be treating these things for fungal, and you should be looking at natural medicines as the primary treatment. You can do some drugs, but they're so toxic. What went so wrong? Why is every ear, nose, and throat doctor out there educated the same way that you must treat with an antibiotic? Is oh, can you think of the horror that you're, you're forcing the fungus deeper in the tissues because yeah, you're using a fungal, an antibiotic. fungal antibiotic? Think of the horror of cortisone. The cortisone is destroying the mucous membranes. Think of the horror of antihistamines, which are weakening the membranes, drying them, and then the fungal uh, pathogens can dig in deeper. Horrifying. That's why Mayo was horrified. That's why they did the study, because nobody got better. And then they found out when they gavaged the sinuses that it was all fungal infection. If you went to the Mayo Clinic today with chronic sinusitis, would they hand you diflucanin nice They might. They might. I don't think they've gotten that far yet. They're still, you know, wimping around on the drug model. They might even give antibiotics, even though they have the data. We are in a dire crisis, uh, the humanity, because the physicians we trust don't even know the, uh, the, the physiology. Mm. So that's why people are turning to natural medicines, and rightfully so. We're not taking them away from their doctors. We're not telling them not to take something, but just giving them the alternative. Bronchitis, according to postgraduate medicine, is usually fungal 98% of the time. Pneumonia repeatedly is a warning of tuberculosis, mycotubercular, or at a minimum, histoplasmosis. It's published in major medical journals now that 50 to 70 million people every June get a June flu. It's mm -hmm. histoplasmosis. Mm -hmm. And especially in certain endemic areas, and these if you've fungi. Got, God, if you think about it, if you've got mold in your house or, or if you've got wet weather, or if you've got dry weather in California, you may have valley fever with a deep cough and aching to the bone and nobody's treating it. Coccidiomycosis. Mm. I mean, it's, it's just, this is exciting. This is really, you know, many of these men coming home from the war and women are suffering now from, you know, bronchial pulmonary disorders, mm. cough, chronic allergies and so forth. And all we're doing is writing them script after script of antibiotic. The doctors are really trying to do the right thing. They really care. They went through medical school. They're equipped. They believe to help. And yet, without even the diflucanin nystatin, the second part of this show, then, is going to be dedicated to you, the moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas watching this show right now, who say, OK, Doug and Dr. Ingram, you're teaching us a lot. Now just tell us, what, what should do? we do yeah. if that is fungal? Yeah. What if it's bacterial? Do you have something that would kill both? We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Frank Jordan with a question from Clarice. Frank, money's tight. How can I save more on my NSC supplements? Clarice, gasoline, drugs, taxes, it seems like everything is sky high and dollars are scarce. So how can you save on NSC Ammunition Supplements? The answer is the NSC Club, and joining is free. 
you save 24% on every purchase with free club shipping. Plus, a free bottle of an NSC ammunition product is yours when you join the NSC club after your first purchase. And no forgetting, your health products come to you regularly each month by priority mail. How do you save big on NSC ammunition supplements? The NSC club. Free to join, free club shipping, and a free NSC ammunition product after joining while you save 24% each month with automatic shipping. No forgetting, join the NSC club and save. This changes everything. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Dr. Cass Ingram also joins us. And when he's here, I just have so much fun. Preventing asthma. Doctors now feel, pediatricians feel, that being breastfed for nine months will prevent many asthma and respiratory problems in children. That's good. Yeah, that's, that's a good. step in the right direction. That's, yeah. When I was a young man, and after I got back from Vietnam, I worked for a guy named Howard Gottschalk. He was an ear, nose, and throat allergist out in Los Angeles. And he would snare out, did you ever, did you ever take out polyps? Ah, uh, no. It's ugly. You anesthetize it's with this big long needle, mess. you stick it up in their nose, anesthetize it, and then you go in with this little metal snare, and you do this, and the snare just chops off, yeah. and it falls out into a plate. And you got all these, these things look like jelly beans coming out of people's nose. But 100% of the people said, Oh, sure. and he hugged That's both of us and yeah. said, thank you so much. Then Dr. Godshock and I, being the scientist he was, we cross-sectioned these things with a thin knife. We'd cross-section them, look at them with a microscope. We and thought we were going to be the guys, <laughs> you're right, we were going to be the guys to figure out that nasal polyps are due to something. Yeah. And all we saw was fat cells. Right. Folks, that's where medicine is today. Let's take out the glue causing the problem in the neck or the, uh, the problem uh, you know, in the heart. Let's pull it out and, and see what it is. That's not the answer. The answer is what's weaving underneath to make that cyst grow? It, these are cell, uh, sign of cell irritation. Mm -hmm. You get deep-seated fungal infection in the, along the bony membrane of the sinus cavities. Mycelial growth that you can't trap in a, in a polyp. Yep. It's underneath those membranes. It's, it's under the membrane layer. And they're invasive, and they induce a tumor-like state by taking over the genetics of the nasal membrane. Kill the fungus, and the nasal polyps go away. How do you do that up here? Well, you have to use a combination of sublingual capsules and even a, a nasal spray. With your oregano. If you, yeah, if you mm -hmm. look here, you'll see uh, something called sinu oregano. Mm -hmm. And that's very effective. Now, we don't have any scientific studies. We don't have any claims to, I don't have any claims to make. I mean, as, just as a person, as a lay person and a doctor, I just know how well it works. It's a saline plus spice oil and it burns. Mm -hmm. And you gotta just it know does. that it burns temporarily. Yeah, I've done it, it burns good. Yeah, and it gets in there and it's just gonna do what it does. So anybody and watching it's gonna get, this it's gonna saturate into all those sinus pockets, you know. People watching this show right now with a loved one with a yeah. uh, respiratory problem, a nasal problem, with sinusitis, et cetera, these people are miserable. They ever come into your clinic? Oh. Well, I, yeah, oh. I, I used to see them all the time. I just, friends now and yeah. people I run oh. into, uh, I tell them, why don't you take this and get some quick relief and squirt it up. I've had quite a good result with a woman with polyps. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Matt, can you zoom in on that? Let's see if we, I'm sorry, Scott, can you zoom in on that? I want to show this one. This is right here. Yeah, this, That's the this, sinus spray. This is a sal salt, sea salt. Now, there's no chemicals. Sea salt plus the essential oils. Okay. But a lot of these things have sodium hydroxide and other buffers and chemicals, but this is completely no chemicals. Because, you know, we, you just want something that can wash and also get the antifungal substances in there. Okay. So that's topical. But then I do like also to spray. I love it. I like to inhale it. I like to mist the air because Celsius Labs showed that this kills molds in the air and okay. kills molds on contact. What if a nice thing for a keyboard? What a nice thing to mist onto a, and then let it drift onto a couch. Yeah, yeah. Let it that, that see, it, I see you all the time shooting it. And if you have pets, which it's not a good idea to have a dog in a house and have the dog in your bed. You'll get, there's <laughs> 70 million Americans have dog heartworm. But if you're doing that kind of a thing, you better mist. Orego spray, yeah. power of nature. Yeah. Wild uh, spice oil germicide. Right. So whether it's bacteria, viral. Right, it's an anti-microbial. Anti mm -hmm. And you could use that as a throat spray. 
sure could, could spray it in the ear canal. You could spray it on, a guy told me he sprayed it all over his psoriasis bedding, you know, the, the, all the little flakes yep. of skin, because he had a horrible mite infestation. It killed all those mites. And his, his psoriasis improved. He didn't expect it, but just by laying in the bed with this stuff. And then, so, but then you can also, so that's spray. Then you should take pills. The Orega. Yeah, you should take Orega Resp. It's most powerful. If you look on the internet, Orega Resp testimonials, you'll see some pretty interesting statements by people. I don't have a clinical trial on Orega Resp. I wish I did. Hopefully I will. You have to basically find out whether you believe in this or not. The studies show that it kills fungus in terms of the ingredients, kills viruses, kills the flu virus, the cold virus, it kills candida, it kills mold, it kills and it neutralizes aflatoxin. But it's up to you, mycotoxin. Uh, you know, this is the oil of oregano. There are thousands of things being said about it. Mm -hmm. Millions of people using it, and quite a few scientific studies showing it's antifungal, anti-candidal, antibacterial, antiviral. Boom. Protozoa. And then. antioxidative. Mm -hmm. 50 times more powerful than blueberries on the ORAC. 3,000 ORAC units versus blueberries at 60 mm. or 40. So it's more powerful than all these fruit things. Plus, it's an antihistamine. We can say that. Yep. Antihistaminic. Yeah? So you have all of that to benefit you. How would you use the oil? Would you drip it under, under your tongue? Under the tongue. Would you stir under it into the tongue a... Under the tongue is best. Okay. Under the tongue and hold it, you know, because you want this to act here. Now, okay, yes, I have a cough, I have a laryngitis, I have post-nasal drip, I have pneumonia, but fungal pockets, foci of infection, this is the focus here. Mm -hmm. And maybe a dental infection, maybe the, fun the sinuses are damaged because you have an, a capped root, a root canal, you have terrible pus backed up into the jawbone, into the mandible, and nobody even knows it. But at least you could be using this to try to clear the head. You have helped so many people. When I go lecture, uh, people come up to me and say, thank Dr. Ingram for me. And I, I just, on behalf of all the people who watch this show and have benefited, you're right, thousands of people have benefited from this. And folks, Dr. Ingram is not here. He's never brought in here to tell you don't go to your doctor. He is a doctor. <laughs> he knows what goes on in doctoring, and he's here to say the road forks. Yeah. Uh, doctors don't learn this. Thank God, you see all the doctors on this show who have learned that the road doesn't just go this way, it forks. And these are non-toxic therapies. You can drink that bottle and not be poisoned. I wouldn't recommend it, take it as directed, but you could drink that bottle. Well, what about any of the medicines on the market today? Could you drink that bottle or eat that bottle and not be poisoned? No, these are safe. Well, that's a full. Our 40 drop, <laughs> our 60 drop. You just dropped one on your slacks. Yeah, what the heck. 61 drops. Clean up some of that uh, stuff. And, and you take this all the time, yeah. don't you? Yeah, 60 drops. What's it going to do to you? You know? <coughs> That's the worst. You feel like a million bucks. Yeah, I mean, you clear out some garbage. Mm -hmm. But bottom line is the data is behind this. The data is compelling to demonstrate that chronic respiratory, if you're congested, oh, I'm sick, I can't breathe, I have a cough, it's reversible by this type of approach. That's okay. what the data shows. So, if you are suffering... I have a kit here. This would be like I know, a kit. this is yeah. a good kit, kit, and we'll talk about yeah. that in just a moment. Yeah. If you're suffering from lungs up disease, and I mean respiratory type diseases, pleurisy, etc., please do us a favor. In conjunction with your current therapy, this won't interfere with your medicines. In conjunction with it, and always tell your doctor, do us a favor, call the toll-free number that has been put up and will be put up again, and get on some of this oral, liquid, topical, spray, etc. We'll be right back with Dr. Cassidy. I'm Eva Ein. When it comes to skincare, we all want to look our best. But these days, with so many products and choices, deciding what to use can be overwhelming. That's why I created Eva Ein Skin Care, a complete regimen in four products. Fewer products, more affordable. The highest quality, natural-based ingredients with no harmful chemicals, no animal testing, and they're paraben-free. Simple, straightforward, and effective. Because life is complicated enough. I'm Mark Sisson, and I developed the Damage Control Master Formula, the most comprehensive, all-in-one, convenient, vitamin, mineral, antioxidant, phytonutrient formula 
ever created. Full spectrum vitamin E, CoQ10, alpha lipoic acid, phosphatidylserine, green tea, grapeseed extract, beta glucan, lycopene, and 40 other exceptional nutrients. If you are really serious about vitamins and want the maximum power of high potency supplementation, this is exactly what you've been looking for. A dear friend of mine gave me this book some years ago. He was educated at Johns Hopkins University. This book says it's very difficult to differentiate between fungus and cancer. Folks, if they can't differentiate between those two, what about diabetes and fungus? What about infertility and fungus? What about weight gain and fungus? I've written a series of eight books now that you can sit down and enjoy one of them or all of them, from the Fungus Link 1 all the way to the study of what cancer really is. Call our office today. You folks have been suffering for so long from upper respiratory problems. So many of you watching this show and so many of you have been helped by changing your diet and going on some kind of antimicrobial. But we've grown the show tremendously. I mean, it's 80 million plus strong, maybe 100 million. And uh, people, new people are watching all the time. What we're talking about is trying something that kills germs that may be causing asthma or allergy or COPD or these uh, lung disorders that people get. And I would, if I were you just brand new at this, I'd change my diet. There's all sorts of sure. information in your book, yeah. The Respiratory Solution that Dr. Ingram wrote. And uh, you can get the book with this kit that he will now introduce to you. Right, you, you get the kit, get the whole kit and the book together because for respiratory, this is the main guide. Those who already have this, they could switch around, I suppose, and kit in okay. The Cures in the Cupboard. I love yeah. that name, yeah. The Cures in yeah. the Cupboard. So those are the wild oregano <laughs> books. And you know, this wild oregano is a fascinating thing. You know, it's, it's really a God-blessed thing. There was a good study in Italy showing spice oils, such as wild oregano, sage, and clove, dissolve asbestos. Can you imagine in New York City, for instance, the horrifying deaths every week someone dies from the dust, from the destruction of the World Trade Centers, from that mm -hmm. horror, horror. That's right. And so there's continuing deaths. That knowledge needs to be out there. Those firemen, other people. That, can you imagine the people working in mines and, and different uh, chemical factories and different areas where there's a high amount of chemicals, or they just are poverty-stricken people, construction workers, yeah. demolition workers, yeah. people who are next to petrochemical plants, at least they could, remember, it's antioxidative and a germ killer and an antifungal. Think about traveling. This would be a great travel kit. Think about winter, if you had that kit available. You could go uh, upper, you know, all free. You could be free from here on up for life. I like the fact that it's antioxidant. Now, that's so important that it's antioxidant. But number two, it kills germs. It's that's a germicidal. That's the divine being because Normally, when you oxidize, this is an oxidizing agent. When you oxidize things, you get oxidative chemicals. At the same time, it oxidizes, it quenches the free radicals. It's just, it's such a good amount of information. A lot of you write me and say, Doug, I can't take all those notes. That's okay. The show is on. You've seen the phone number. They on the phone will help you realize what product you need. Thank you so much for You're coming welcome. in as you do often yep. and helping people. Thank you folks for watching today. Do us a favor, tell a friend. God bless.